We're looking at the Dove Street and Lower Goat Lane area of the lanes in the city of Norwich today. And that part of the, the city is um, an historic part because it underlines the mercantile history of the city. So if we start with Dove Street, that used to be called Halter Lane, but it changed its name to Dove Street because as with lots of Norwich streets, they're named after pubs. And Dove Street was named after the Dove Pub, which then changed to the Edinburgh Arms, but of course they never changed the, the name of the street. Dove Street was the only exit from the market. Um, now, I mean, you could sort of stagger out through various little lanes and things, but obviously if you were selling your wares in the market, you needed a cart or a handcart or something, and this was the only street that would enable that kind of passage. And it was a very important street, and that's evidenced by the fact that Queen Elizabeth, when she came to Norwich in 1578 to meet the Duke of Norfolk, whose palace was uh, just the other side, down, right down the bottom of Dove Street, she came along this street, so it gives you an idea of its importance. We're going to look at the site where Tesco is on the corner of Jail Hill and the corner of Dove Street. It used to be Chamberlain's department store. And Chamberlain was a chap who moved to Norwich in 1814. And then the year later, he opened up a draper's shop. And um, he was very successful. And so successful, in fact, that the name Chamberlain's um, um, was maintained in the city until 1963. Um, it became a department store, the Draper shop became a department store in 1869 and um, that beat Selfridges as um, an early department store because Selfridges didn't come along until 1909 so 40 years prior to Selfridges opening their door Norwich had a department store. We're now going to walk along from Tesco's along Dove Street to Thorns and we'll have a look at the shop there. You can see in front of us now um, this great ironmonger shop, um, the only one that's left in the, in the city, called Thorns. And Thorns occupies a huge site on the corner um, of Dove Street and Lobster Lane. When you walk around um, cities and, and towns and sort of go into the uh, shops and things, it's not always apparent, you're not always thinking, why are they there? But an ironmonger's has been on this site since 1835. But ironmongery has been sold in this part of the city since the Normans brought the market, the French market, into the city centre. And the market was much bigger than it is today. You can see here on the corner where we're looking at thorns, um, the market went way beyond down towards the river where um, the madder was sold, but it all also stretched in the other direction, up to right up to St Stephen's Church on Theatre Street, which is where the horse market was. So the ironmonger's thorns isn't here just by chance. This is where the ironmongers would have been with their wares when the marketplace was in full sway when the Normans first came. This is a little bit about the history of the area rather than any of the shops. But um, in the 1860s, a pastry chef called Aberdeen had a shop here. And on February the 7th, 1860, a fire broke out there. And it wasn't very serious and it didn't spread very far. But there was another ironmonger called Kubitz close by and they had 400 pounds or 180 kilos of gunpowder stored there so they were kind of <laughs> worried about the um, aspect of the fire being so close so it was wrapped up in wet blankets and moved to a place of safety and none of it um, erupted thankfully however august the 1st 1880 another fire started 
this time in Hearns, the rope makers that was just down the, the way from here. Um, obviously rope making has a craft that involves lots of stuff that burns very quickly and the fire spread to Chamberlain's and I've already explained how far and wide Chamberlain's was and it burnt Chamberlain's, um, it, it almost gutted the store and the library that's now a restaurant but was a proper library in Norwich was gutted as well and it destroyed all the volumes in there, there 60,000 of them. But within the year, the library opened again and it cost them the pricey sum of £1,719. <laughs> Lower Goat Lane was originally called Stonegate Magna and it took its current name from the old goat pub in the 17th century and that pub closed in 1861. The Grosvenor Fish Bar in front of us here is a fantastic little building. It might not look like it from the outside um, but A it's a fish and chip shop so it gets my vote. Um, but it's actually a 17th century timber frame building with a medieval undercroft and I don't think you can tell that from the outside. There are about 80 undercrofts in the city in Norwich but few of them are open to the public. But this one is and this is a great spot. <laughs> 